Hi everybody, welcome back to my Spotlight on Stamping Plates series. This is my mixed pattern folder. This just has lots of different types of patterns, typical geometric designs, things like that. So we are going to start off with the Uber Chic Mini Texture Licious number two. So this is the kind of thing that you'll see in here. Um, I'll just know when I want to kind of a basic money. This is kind of the folder that I use. It's one of my most used folders. Uh, these plates are amazing. They've got like, you know, your squiggly lines. Your They're great for backdrops to like quotes and stuff like that. You may have seen this a while back actually. I use this. The brick wall, things like that. This is... This one, I'm not sure what number it is. Maybe it's number one. Um, but anyway, this is also uber chic. It doesn't have a number on it. Um, but yeah, there's only three textured plates, so you'll know what they are, the, these mini ones. And this one is great. It's got this kind of hatched effect here. This kind of, I really like this idea actually. This kind of cracked surface, almost like a shattered polish and um, diagonals. Yeah, just a really good. This one looks kind of like paint splatter or blood splatter for Halloween. That would be good. And then the third one, this is number three. Yeah, so I'm guessing that middle one is number one. And here we've got more lines, kind of, this almost looks like a tree bark to me. Um, these like lines here, this kind of reminds me of the Iron Throne one actually. And yeah, really like this one. That fly is going to definitely come in here now eventually. <laughs> this is from Moyu, this is back to the 60s, um, 05. Absolutely adore this plate, I've used this one quite a lot. I think I've used every pattern actually. So you can see this kind of retro um, print here. This kind of reminds me of Orla Kylie a little bit, that kind of vibe. Um, so I might do an Orla Kylie, this uh, design especially, an Orla Kylie inspired Manu using this. I really, really like it. This is another Bundle Monster one. This is XL02. Probably my, one of my top, I think it is my top plate. I absolutely adore this plate. I've used every image on it. This stamps perfectly every single time without fail. I adore it and yeah it's just a great standard pattern plate absolutely love every bit of it it's great if I if I was going on holidays and I wanted to take a plate with me it probably would be this and this one would be a very close second this is the creative shop it's number 77 this plate Oh, this is great too. Absolutely love it. I think I showed you this in um, my five tips to become better at stamping video and this image in particular gets used quite a bit and we've also got nail mail down here so it's a great plate. This is the hipster collection number 20 plate. This is from Mo Yu. Uh, I think I got this on special or something because I haven't used it yet. And I have a few plates from Moyu that have this kind of crossed um, pattern on it. But uh, yeah, I need to use this. This might make a good Gutatama um, manicure here, the one with the fried eggs and avocados and stuff. But it's a good basic um, pattern plate. This one I've used, I think, pretty much everything on it. This is back to the 80s number three from Moyu. Great kind of 80s vibe going on here. Absolutely love it. I did learn to my detriment that you need to work fast if you're going to do reverse stamping with this one because there's quite a lot of uh, space to fill in and it dries pretty quickly. That's not the plate's fault, that's my fault. But yeah, this is a brilliant plate, absolutely love it. Um, now we're getting into my Colour Club plates. Um, this is number, oh no, there's no number, this is just called plaid and it has various plaid designs. Um, and tartan type prints uh, and I guess a houndstooth. I'm putting off saying mm, what I'm trying not to. I'm, I'm not going to be uh, overly critical because it still might be just me. I need to go back and try them again. But when I started stamping, I started with these plates and I didn't have much result. And this is their star plate here, actually. I am not a massive fan of these plates. They're not etched particularly well. Uh, they're not as deep as they, they're stuck because they never get used. Um, even now that I'm good at stamping, I find them tricky. Some of them are okay. Some of them, like some of them, you can't really feel at all. I need to give them another go, but 
nah, I haven't had great results with those ones. So I, now that I'm better at stamping, I'll go back to, and give them another try. But I found these tricky, to be honest, to get an image off of. Anyway, let's stick with the positive. This is from Born Pretty, another beautiful plate. This is more of a flora plate, actually, although I probably wouldn't instantly use it as a flora plate because there's like lots of different designs on it. Yeah, yeah, you wouldn't say it's floral at all. So great little design. Again, something that will provide a backdrop if you've got some image with reverse stamping or something that you want to plop on top. That would be cool. Uh, another geometric plate, actually this is from Born Pretty as well, A08 Lala Pope. This is what's on my nails, you're probably going to get sick of this manicure, but this is what's on my nails. It stamps excellently and, I'm trying to figure out what fingers I have, stamps really, really well. Absolutely loved this plate. Um, I was really excited to try this out and I was not disappointed. This is the origami collection from um, Mo Yu and it's number eight. This is tricky, it's a tricky plate. Um, things dry quickly. Uh, it's not too bad. I wanted it again as more of a background to uh, images. I need to play around with it a little bit more, but it's not one of my favorites. This one I haven't used yet, but it's kind of a water marble uh, plate. And this is Bundle Monster in collaboration with Slotazzi, I think that's how you say it, and it's XL210, and I, I'm never gonna bother with water marbling, so this will be perfect for me. Perfect little water marbling plate. And then we have BM, uh, so Bundle Monster XL04, another fantastic plate. This one, I haven't used yet, I'm just assuming it's fantastic. Actually, I really like that brick. Hmm, I have a manicure I wouldn't mind doing. Um, so maybe I will be pulling this out very soon, but yeah. Then we have Bundle Monster in collaboration with Magically Polished, and this is XL205, and we have various geometric shapes. This one is kind of like that Creative Shop one, but the reverse, so I could maybe use them together. Um, and we've just got various designs here. I like this a lot. This is really, really pretty. Oh! Missing space, don't know what that's for. I do that all the time, I don't know why. And this is Bundle Monster um, with uh, Elan Dish, and this is XL201. And this is uh, got lace prints on it. Maybe this should go into my romantic folder, but I guess there's other designs here. Um, you've got the chevron effect. Uh, this one here, which would be cool if you're doing an X and O kind of um, mani. Just romantic things here. Feathers, stars, all of that. So, I have one space there to fill up. What will I put into it? Alright folks, that was my mixed pattern plates. I will see you next time for another folder. Talk to you soon.